afternoon baseball here on the show today. Tanner Houck is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Boston. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey Matty V this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace this guy has a chance to be one of the more the second but they throw it away. A ah, nice piece of hitting right there when you're facing a young blood on the mound young starting pitcher you want to get him into the stretch as quick as possible. You want to see how he handles the moment to see if maybe you can run on him. A lot of things going to open up with this next at bat. Well these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon they come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early oh, going. Right. Maddie this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean just a double digit winning streak that I mean maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot this team is rocking in all facets right now and they're a fun watch a ball and two strikes now neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue fouled off Albies aboard here at first with nobody out and he got him boy he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact behind Owen two now. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single in the scoring position. Yeah clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Swing and a miss and that's out number three. Brave strand one and now the Red Sox get their turn. Ian Anderson will be on the bump for game two of the series. What's your take on him Dan. Hey getting a good look at big right hander Ian Anderson former first round draft pick this guy has a good hard breaking ball. One of the things I really like about this guy he doesn't dance around the strike zone has a good fastball 95 to 97 miles an hour. He'll ride it up in the zone. He'll throw that two seam sinker down in the zone and a good hard breaking ball. He's put it all together and he's a very dependable and reliable starting pitcher who takes the ball every five days. Back up the middle. And the throw here is going to get him at first. Excellent range there at short, and there are two away now. Batting third, the designated hitter. Now here's the pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. And that means J.D. Martinez gets to it with two outs as well. Nice A.B. right there. A little potential for some two out lightning getting the cleanup hitter to the dish after the first two batters of the inning were retired. And a pitch out. Nothing doing though and that's ball one. The 1 0 home hit hard down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag a fair ball. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. And the streak is alive as you can see on the graphic. He creeps ever closer to the big number 56. Amazing what this guy has been able to do. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Boy when this guy gets in the groove he can hit him and when he hits him he hits him in bunches hit a home run in last night's game and if they continue to pitch him on the outer part of the plate look out this guy's going to do some major damage. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. But the Red Sox push across three. Here's the first pitch. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Hoo-wee. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. First offering. Fouled away. 
This year against right handed pitching Darno hits in the 240s so there's room for improvement in that regard. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season but he can beat you in a variety of different ways and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. Wow that's four straight K's he's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. He's set. Here it comes. Austin Riley is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Popped him up. Vasquez moving to his left. He handles it easily and the inning is over. So nothing happening this time around. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the Red Sox three and the Braves nothing. Bottom of the inning now and next it'll be the fleet footed first baseman Bobby Dahlbeck. I'm interested to see how focused their ABs will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood inning. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bats nice. Acuna is right there and it's a very quick out number one. Batting it. The catcher. Next it'll be Christian Vasquez He's fresh off perhaps the best game of his career a six for six line last night ground ball left side and that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm a base hit. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first and that means the plug and play utility man Kike Hernandez will bat next and a pitch out nothing doing though and that's ball one. One oh home. This one is launched. Look at this. On to Lansdowne and gone. So a two run homer down the line in left. 34 home runs now on the year. And the Red Sox break on top now five to nothing. And we'll employ the use of our now show track technology right to get a better idea of that home run. And you see it there, 111 miles an hour off the bat. He certainly squared that one up well. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah I understand that Matty but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Run the first following the error and next will be the imposing power back David Ortiz. Into center field line drive base hit long throw to third and he is in there. On his way out to the mound now is the Atlanta skipper and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So it's an early shower here this afternoon as this will not go down as one of his better outings. Ready to deliver here comes the first pitch. Swung on but it's pulled foul wide of third. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Hit hard, and oh, this is off the second base bag, and that's through into center field. Base hit, and the second run will score as this suddenly is now a seven nothing ball game. The third base Here now is Rafael Devers. Oh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. Gone. Rafael Devers has just clubbed a milestone home run of sorts. It's the 100th of his career. Well, obviously, it's not easy hitting home runs, Matt, especially at this level. 100 home runs is nothing to scoff at, so I'm sure he'll be proud of this accomplishment when he gets to really think about it after a game, and you know he'll want that ball to hold on to. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back to back Jacks. Well, sometimes runs come in bunches, and that's definitely the case in this inning. That's three, count them, three home runs in this frame alone. Four for the game. 
Did someone throw a home run derby the they didn't tell me about? Sure looks okay. that way. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is. Top of the third set to get underway. And striding forward the designated hitter, Orlando Arcia. Fastball was too much for him there. Swung right through it. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Dahlbeck is over, and he puts it away for the first down. So one gone for the Braves here in the third. And up next will be Christian Pache. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Verdugo waits on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Stepping in, Ozzie Albies. He collected a base hit his first time up. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And this one will bounce into the wall. And he is in to third with a two out triple. This is one park in the league that sees a lot of triples because of the way it's designed and he adds another one heading to third for the three bagger. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one and here's a ball hit in the air. And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play. And that ends the inning. No damage. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said it's one of those games where everything has come together for his hitters. From their approach, to their swings, to the results. It's all working. One key indicator of that? six extra base hits to this point in the game. Thank you Heidi. Next oh up Kike oh Hernandez oh and remember he hit that two run Kike. homer his first time up. Oh the pitch. On the ground to third. Reined in. And very quickly there they're two gone to start the inning. Here's Mookie Betts. No hits to this point. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. On the first, and can you believe it? A three pitch. New inning set to get underway, and stepping in the long ball threat, Freddie Freeman. No balls and a strike to count. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Freeman could end up as an all-star this year, but it's not a lock at this point. He enters the day third in voting among first basemen. Yeah, and you don't want to leave it up to a manager's decision. You want to get in based on the fan vote, and he has a chance to do exactly that if he can make a late push as we head towards the midsummer classic. And it's fouled away. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Freddie Freeman is retired to kick off the inning. Ronald Acuna will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. And he fouls this one off. Oh, and he struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. First delivery to him. Marcelo Zuna stands in as he looks at a call strike. 
Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. No runs, two hits, and one error on the Atlanta line score. And he struck. Now with the plate is Alex Verdugo. He reached on an error and later scored his last time up. Out in front of it, strike one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And it's gone as they add still another. These guys are really putting on a show here. That dinger brings the total up to five for the game so far. Amazing stuff today, guys. Yeah, Matty B. How about this, D. Rowe? You come to watch offense, you pick the right game to come and see. Five bombs from one team. Everybody in the lineup. They're, they're making fun right now of the guys who don't have a homer in this one. Josh Tomlin gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least beat a couple of innings for his guys. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez down the third baseline over to Albies. On to Freeman, a double play. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This Adi jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. But add on one more as the... Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the time. Here's the first pitch to him. High in the air down the right field line. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. The bouncer to the left side. And the fifth oh. inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now that Stepping okay. up is Austin okay. Riley. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Coming forward now is the Braves' designated hitter, Orlando Arcia. He flew out in his last A.B. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Hernandez onto the grass. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Braves. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Xander Bogarts. Xander Bogarts. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. High and deep down the left field line. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. This is line to left. Oh, and this deflects right off him. Just an absolute laser that time. Screaming off the bat, if you will. And show track tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. Drill down the line. Throw just does get him at first as he was really moving that time. Next up for the Red Sox, Christian Vasquez flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. This one's down to third. He's got it. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. And now, Kike Hernandez grounded out in his last at-bat. First offering, 
that shot down the line. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. He's set now the pitch. Bogarts stands at second with two gone. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. He pulls into second safely as also on the play a run comes across to score. Now that Boy this guy's you. having a great a game here so far d -Row. Home yeah. run earlier in the night and that base hit right there drives in his third run that in of this game. Yeah you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's wind up. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bomb but now he's got three ribbies to boot. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Oh and one count and the pitch sky down the left field line. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in time and the side is retired. The batter will be Christian Pache. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its. Here comes the Red Sox manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So the good news is he'll wind up going the requisite five innings for the victory, but he does leave his bullpen some considerable work to do before this one's done. Fouled off. Hot shot on the ground is short. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, and that one swung through the strike zone that time at 98. 0 and 1. Fouled away. Drilled right back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. Well, you know what? Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, D. Rowe. And to be able to hang in there on an 0 2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2 0, 3 1, 0 2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. Runners on first with one down. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. delivery to him into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 pulled toward right center field Pache moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one so one gone in the inning now as we get a look there at the standings in the NL East as you see where the Braves find themselves entering play. So the next to bat will be David Ortiz trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Line toward the alley in left center. That's in. And he is just on a tear. That makes him four for four. I mean, obviously, this guy is built to play in the daytime. Four for four, you know he's seeing it good right now. These are the days that you remember for a long time. Here's J.D. Martinez. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And it's off the green monster. 
They'll extend their lead here as the runner scores from first. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. Rafael Devers steps in once more as we look back at the big game he's already had. He got off to a fast start with two homers in the early going. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. Man, I haven't seen an offensive explosion like this since I don't know when. It's been a combination of spotty pitching and inconsistent defense, and now they posted an amazing 14 runs on the board. Tyler Matzik gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Now a long throw to third, and they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Some guys just okay. lay back and watch that first pitch go by, no matter what. Work the count, make the pitcher waste a few pitches, but when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. And that's just what he does. He jumped all over. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. Matzik comes set. First pitch on the way. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Acuna retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. Rick Kimbrell comes on to pitch from the bullpen now in an unexpected move. He's their closer, so it's a surprise to see him here in the seventh. Swing, and he launches this one to deep left field. And it bangs off the monster. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Sometimes when a reliever comes in a game, he wants to get that first strike so bad that he serves one up, and that's exactly what happens here. The first battery faces just rockets one off the wall and now he's got to worry about another base hit potentially bringing home a run behind Owen two now got him and he goes down on strikes for the third time it's been a rough game for him at the plate couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there and he struck out twice before that one so he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight Kimbrell is pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build the perfect relief pitcher, you'd want a guy that throws a lot of strikes, that minimizes the base on balls, and nobody does it as good as this guy does right now in the game of baseball. In now, Austin Riley. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle it's 0 and 1. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The 0 1. Inside ball one. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. And it's fouled away. Bacuna at second with two down. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. When a pitch is close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that. And the catcher grabs it to retire the side. The inning is over. Brave strand one. Start the bus. They're down 15 to nothing. Now to the plate, Kike Hernandez. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. He's set and the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Acuna is there for it. One out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Mookie Betts, he bounced out last time up. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Back up the middle. Ah, oh, way to get dirty. The throw to first. It's in time. 
You know, you hear me talk about having baseball timing, having a baseball clock. That play right there showed it. Pretty play. The dive and then the ability to get back to your feet quickly and make that throw to cut him down at first. Lifted the other way out to left center. Ozuna is under it. And he makes the play to end the inning. Down in order. Next to bat Orlando Arcia. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 1. That's not really where you want to miss right there. I know this guy has got power stuff, but you can't live in the middle of the plate against this lineup and expect to have success. The 0 2 once more is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, okay. pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Just a nice, clean single right there, and I know it's not going to probably make a ton of difference in this game, but one thing I love about the competitive fire right there is nope. I don't care what the scoreboard is, we do not give away at bats, and he certainly didn't right there. Count is one and two now. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Verdugo's got it, and with it, the inning is over. One. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And digging in is the veteran DH, David Ortiz. First offering on its way. Into center field, line drive base hit. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox half of the inning. Boy, and they have not been oh, able to get him out. Game. This is now a five-hit no ball game for him here. Those don't come along every day. To the plate now, J.D. Martinez sent in the air out to straightaway central. Acuna patrolling center makes the play one out. Next to hit Rafael Devers two home runs already to his name in this one and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Hit hard to short and that drops him for another base hit he's four for five now. Man talk about having a good game and like most guys this would be a good week. Fourth hit of the game and two of those D rolls round trippers. Yeah, he's going to have a smile on his face for a while here, Dan. These are special nights. You have to enjoy these. These don't come around often, and he is taking full advantage of it. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Behind 0 and 2 now. Ortiz on third. Definitely. Second with one away. Still no balls and two strikes. Belted high in the air out to left. And it's gone into the monster seats. Guys, you believe what we're seeing here today? With six home runs so far, this lineup is turning in a performance for the ages at the plate. Yeah, Matty V. Well, D. Rowe, you kind of expect a high-scoring game with that green monster here at Fenway. Yeah, it changes your whole mindset. Right center's out of the equation. Dead right field's out of the equation. Goes to 380 at its deepest part. Unless you want to hit one down to pesky pole, you're looking to pepper that green monster. So now here is Christian Vasquez. He's got one hit in four at bats. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Running hard. He's digging for second. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. 
The baseball is a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. Yeah, and you've got to ride these streaks as long as you possibly can, and he's doing that coming in right here. Came into this game on fire with the stick, and he's doing that here. That's now two hits, so uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. So next up will be Freddie Freeman starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Verdugo is there one quick out to start inning number nine. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now. 0 and 2. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92. You can usually see seams. 92 to 95. It starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. Here's Marcelo Zuna who could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. A one pitch on its way. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Hey I noticed pitchers getting ahead right here. He's got the hitter down 0 2 but to this guy he's got it and the Red Sox will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Man they've already put the all time winning streak record in their rear view mirrors but with every win it gets further and further away.